All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out in the water early. Not too early, it's like 7.30 early for me, but um, yeah, the water's really high. Night's usually not that high. Gonna be fishing for some carp maybe. Gonna be using corn, worms, and some lures. Got two open faces and a bait caster. Let's see what we hook into. All right, guys, we just hooked into a nice smolly. I was just putting the corn out on the bottom. My... There we go. I was literally putting it out. I didn't like where it got set. And I was reeling it back in. I gotta get the little net here. And he came up and got it off the bottom. He's not tired out yet. I don't know how good he's hooked either. Oh, there. there we go. Nice little smolly. We catch a lot of little smollies here. <clears throat> I say little, but he's, he's a nice size. Not monster or anything. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Maybe a, maybe a pound and a half. Not, not barely two pounds, but uh, let's let this guy back. Oh wow, he was barely hooked. I don't know how he stayed on, flopping around. All right, I'll see where he, let him right back into the cold. And there he goes. Let's go get another one. That's a good sign. Demon, have it on the bottom, was bringing it up, wanted to reset it. I didn't like where it was at. Got all my corn dough. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're all set up. We got a fishing pole right there, right into the cove, kind of extended off the ground, maybe like a few inches. The bait's just dangling there. And then we got, that one right there, kind of like out in that area over there. Um, we're using corn and worm on that one, and on this one we just have corn. But I have, like the fish we just caught, the smallmouth, he, that was a reaction bite. I was reeling up off the bottom, he came up and got it. But usually, I actually just catch smallmouth off the bottom with a worm or corn. It's kind of weird here, I don't know why it does that. but. Uh, yeah, smallmouth, bullhead, carp, anything like that would be nice right now. I'm going to let them sit how they are for a little bit and we'll see what happens. I'm going to be throwing this little yellow-tailed grub. Let's see if I can get in. Yeah, with a piece of worm. Probably catch some rock bass or something with that. They're pretty overpopulated in this area, but we'll see what happens. See you in a few minutes, hopefully. All right, we hooked, we hooked into another one on the bait caster. As soon as I casted this bait cast over there, big old weight on it. He actually almost got hung like twice. Another little smolly corn and worm, this one. I decided to change spots. We ain't so close anymore. We cast it out farther. And as soon as I did that, we got a bite. We've been sitting here for probably an hour, hour and a half. We caught that nice size smolly in the beginning. <clears throat> this is a healthy little baby. Oh yeah. Man, he's got a tough jaw, what the heck? Nice little baby. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I think it's a safe bet to cast out a little bit farther. Cast into the left a little bit, I'll show you here in just a second. I'm gonna let him go. All right guys, so, so far it's been smallmouth city. A little baby, a nicer size one. Not getting too many bites, not even on the artificials. I tried a whole bunch of different stuff, a crankbait, top popper, little yellow jigs. I haven't tried any wacky worms or worms yet. I might try that. But uh, I'll show you what setup we got going right now since we just got a bite. I threw it. I, damn, I'm right by the road right here, but sorry for the camera angle. This is the first video, by the way. <laughs> um, I'm right by the road. And we're in a culvert, obviously. 
I got like a little spillway slash cove right here. And I decided to cast out as soon as I cast out. I caught that little baby. Um, probably like within five minutes of being here when I cast it, I got the reaction bite from that bigger smallmouth. I don't know if they're spawning, but I'll show you the setup we got going on. So we got big red right there. We got him going out that way where we just got that smaller one. There's like a little cliff somewhere like right here. I'm a little on the left. I should have cast it to the right a little bit more. We might have to reposition that. And then we got this big blue right here. He's casting out there. Not too far. Not like far, far. But he hasn't got a bite or even moved in the past few minutes. So, well, not the past few minutes. Maybe like 30 minutes. So, we might have to move him. Put a worm on him. All we got on him is a piece of corn. Well, a few pieces of corn. And, uh, yeah. That's the gist of what we're doing. I'll get back to you when we catch him. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. Another smallie. Oh, no, 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 my tight. He's trying to go for the rocks. Oh, he's bending that rod. Look at that. Oh, this is a big one. What is that? Is that a walleye? Oh, a big smolly. We got a big smolly, guys. <laughs> he was pulling drag. Oh, he's barely hooked. Where's my net? I want to try to drag him in. Ah, fish on, fish on. Oh, come on, my net's all messed up. As soon as it hit the water, guys. Let's see if we can get him in right here. He's still fighting. Come on. I'm just gonna let him fight a little bit more. He's tiring out. We got him hooked good. Come on, he almost went right in the net. Come on. There we go. Nice run. That's what I'm talking about. Got a nicer one. A nicer one, ladies and gentlemen. Always oh, bite my finger. I'd say he's bigger than the first one. Yeah, I was just gonna get some uh, video of me casting out the big big old red and uh as soon again as soon as it hit into the water my line started going out i didn't get a chance to like set it down and then boom these small mouth are biting right here in this little spillway slash cove type thing man he's a chunky boy i kind of want to get him like weighed and measured because i caught one over here he was about two pounds I don't think he's, I think he's about two, maybe, maybe two. Let's see. And man, this thing was bending the rod, dude. Pulling drag. I thought my drag was tight enough on this bait caster. We got two and a half pounds, nearly three pounds. But I'm gonna let him go before he freaking gets knocked out or something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got a bite. Um, big big red. I think something's got it. I was about to put a worm on my little Bobby Marlin. I'll show you guys in a second. Yeah, something's messing around with it over there. It's 
stop playing with it. He did. Let's see if you got the bait. There's some bubbles coming up right there. Wonder if we'll actually get some carp today. Ah, uh, must have been a little guy. Sorry about that. I'll show you guys in just a second. Well, sorry that we didn't get the fish. We didn't, probably too small. I'll show you guys in one second. I'm gonna throw this back out there. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for the artificial. And uh, yeah, be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'll show you what we're using right here. We got a little Bobby Garland. I don't know the weight of this uh, jig head. It's one of the bigger ones I got. We got a piece of worm on there just wiggling around. We're gonna be casting that. We still got both fishing poles out, big red and big blue. Uh, you missed that one I just reeled in, you probably just saw it. I think we got like an hour and a half, maybe two hours left of fishing. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be casting around waiting for the bite. See you in a little bit, hopefully, in a few seconds. In an Indiana town Had a good looking mama Who never was around But she grew up tall And she grew up bright With the Indiana boys On the Indiana nights She moved down here At the age of 18 She blew the boys away With more than they'd seen all right, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't get any more bites, so we're crossing over into where the creek spills into the culvert. That's where we were fishing before. This is where we're going. Let's see what it looks like today. Yesterday it was pretty nice looking. Caught a few my fiance did. The guys will meet here. Ooh, it's a little dirty today. Let's see if I can get over this thing. Oh, the water's moving there. Oh, it's oh. Let's see what we can get doing right here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna use him as bait. <laughs> no, probably not, but. Oh, we almost fell. Oh, so scary. Fuck. Oh, sorry for cussing. I didn't mean to cuss. Hard uh, face now. It's good to cast over there, but we ain't using bobber. Cast on the other side of those sticks, but. Alright. Let me get some lines in and see if we catch anything. Alright, so we just missed one. I didn't get it on camera though. And of course, he's back there behind these logs. As soon as it hit the top, he just swirled up and hit it. Oh, let's see if we can get him to bite again. Got a little one. This is a little rock bass. This one's definitely not the one that bit first. Catch tons of these on this side. But they're pretty fun to catch. They seem to be up here more in the creek area. I'll let them get back. Pretty fish. I'm gonna cast it right back over there. You might actually be able to see this little pocket I'm casting into. <laughs> a little bit bigger. When they get bigger, they put up a little bit more of a fight, but this is my uh, ultra light setup, pretty much. Look at that, right when we cast in, we got two in a row. Let's see if we get in a third one. Not as fun as the large small mouth. Dropped him, sorry, buddy. You guys see a little bit bigger. Oh, 
I want to throw out these uh, what we caught the smallies on the uh, big blue and big red, but I haven't yet. I'm having too much fun catching these little bad. See if we can catch another one. Cool. Without falling in. Nothing on that cast. I was hoping we get three in a row. I'll try it one more time. Don't cut the video yet. Don't cut the video. It's weird because like closer to me over here, I'm not getting any bite in this deeper area, but they're over there where the creek comes in. I wonder how much fish are like up there. Actually like more into the creek. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't caught any after those few little rock bass. I'm going to go on the other side one more time, see if we can snag it to a big one. If not, I'll meet you in the car. See ya. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a pretty good fishing trip. We caught a pretty big one. We caught a few big ones, actually, a few nice smallies. Uh, a few little rock bass on the other side. The bite actually slowed down around 9 o'clock. That's when I went to the other side and caught some rock, ba rock bass as like a last resort to get some fish for you guys i just want to say this is my first video so it's only up from here uh and i hope you guys enjoyed it uh we're actually recording from an iphone and like a phone stand like a holder thing so i might invest in the actual camera and stuff we'll see how the quality is and everything and how you guys enjoy it but i'll see you in the next video